Hi everyone, I'm Zigzag and welcome to my GeoGuessr channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Humble Stobie Pole, the uh, state pole of South Australia, without a doubt. Um, it was invented in the 1920s by James Stobie and is pretty much like a good alternative um, to the wooden poles found in the rest of Australia uh, because the whole South Australia region does not have uh, too many suitable trees and transporting them from the eastern states uh, would often result in termite infestations that would render the poles useless. So, if you recall one of my earlier videos, I said that Stobie poles can only be found in South Australia, and then I amended that in my second Australia tutorial by saying, no, well, you can actually find them in Broken Hill, uh, New South Wales, um, uh, because that's kind of administered by South Australia as well. But I'm here to show you guys a few other examples of where this... Um, where this pole can be found elsewhere in Australia. Um, and so let us get straight into the first location. This is actually a location right here in Adelaide, South Australia. Um, this is uh, in Wingfield and it's where all the Stobie poles of the world are made. This is this is the only place they're really made. And so any other Stobie, Stobie pole that you see elsewhere in Australia, it's come from here. All right, so here's our first location. And you'll notice in the top left-hand corner, it says Australian Capital Territory. That's right. They are There are 300 or 400 of these Stoby Poles out here in the Australian Capital Territory, better known as Canberra. Uh, so if you see one of these out here in kind of this forested area, they're, they're, I had to do some really good like Facebook snooping to find some of these. Um, and some, and it uh, took me like actually maybe an hour to uh, go ahead and find some of these because there's only 300 or 400 in the whole uh, territory but if you do see some in a forested area or it can even be in the northern suburbs of Canberra then you might be there and it's worth giving you a look so here we are and this location is right here uh, where I just marked there um, and so you can see it's a bit out from Canberra and of course Canberra is out there on the east coast of Australia. All right next location uh, next one is in Tasmania. Launceston, Tasmania, as well as a few other Tasmanian cities, have Stobie poles. And you can see that uh, often the ones I've seen in Tasmania, they are a bit less rusted, a bit newer looking perhaps. Uh, but yeah, here we are in Tasmania, and there is a Stobie pole. So, myth busted that they're only in South Australia. You can see they are all the way down here in Launceston, a good... How many kilometres away is this... Uh, uh, measure distance from here. So it's a thousand kilometers away from Adelaide there. All right, next up, we are here in Hobart. Hobart also has the capital uh, city, I believe, of Tasmania, or at least the biggest city in Tasmania, also has, um, also has uh, Stobie Poles. So keep that in mind, keep that in mind, guys. Uh, here we are, as I said in one of my previous videos, in Broken Hill, you can see we've got the uh, New South Wales number plate here, and we do have a Stobie pole, and they're pretty much all around the uh, city in uh, in Broken Hill, or this is the only one in this location. And uh, now we have a couple of honourable mentions. Uh, so here we are in Geelong, uh, in New South Wales, Geelong. Uh, sorry, and you can see we ha kind of have like the Chilean uh, style of pole here, which is quite interesting, but this is all Generation 1 anyway, so you shouldn't see it anyway. And again, you can see that this is also Galong, and uh, you can see we have like this Brazilian slash Chilean style like of pole here, so quite interesting, just a little anomaly that I found. And also, another honourable mention would be uh, this like metal pole, which you see in... Uh, uh, the Northern Territory. It's pretty much specific to the Northern Territory, and you can see here that it is it is re relatively similar to the Stobie Pole, just without the concrete in the middle. Uh, so it's really good to know it, but uh, it is not actually a Stobie Pole. Uh, so that pretty much concludes it. Um, I would love it if you could uh, comment in in the comments and tell me if you know where any more Stobie Poles are, you know, outside of South Australia, because I would really like to know. Uh, I've also linked a challenge uh, of a map I created, which just has like 10 locations. You can test out your skills uh, at uh, determining where the Stoby Pole is. Stoby Poles of Australia is called. So definitely play the challenge along and uh, see how you do. Um, apart from that, 
uh, yeah, I would I just really like to know if you see any more so I can update the map. So yeah, then I, then we hopefully we can get some more obscure locations. But I do know there are more stobie poles around, possibly in uh, New South Wales and Canberra. So yeah, in in places with where like termites and white ants might be a, a bit of an issue. But that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.